What's up buddies? What's up YouTube? But I've promised a little Q&A for 500k. I've announced it on Twitter, put it on YouTube as well in the description and stuff like that. So yeah, people had tweeted me quite a lot. I'm having my I don't know, I'm having my phone right now with me, so all of the questions that I filtered out there are on that phone. So let's get just straight into it. Sorry, I don't have a wifey like Reshi does who can read the questions. It's just me and yeah, it's just me. Fuck. Um, anyway, let's just jump right into it. First one. At Mousies go. R U D T F. Lemon Gaming YouTube. What happened to you and NIP? I haven't seen you working together in a while. Me and NIP have been splitting up in March or April, I think officially a little bit later. Um, straight after Katowice sometime because basically it's just a matter of time issue. You can't really work on that one thing, you can't really work on the other thing. So you have to cut one or the other. So I've made the decision between me personally, my Twitch, my YouTube, my video production, producing, just me being standalone or working for an IP. So ultimately I just came to the conclusion that I just didn't have the time, I just couldn't focus on one thing exactly, so I had to cut one thing and that happened to be unfortunately the work with NIP. So yeah, that's pretty much all, of the, all there is to it. If you want to read more onto it, I'm going to link down below the article that I made um, on their website. So if you are really interested into that, just take a few minutes and read it through. Have you ever no-scoped a female and blinded her? Is Hünenene your lover? No. We got a question that was actually not a stupid thing. Who actually got into Counter Strike in general? Um, a friend of mine was telling me, like, hey, I found a new cool game, and he bought it, and uh, we got hooked, and we did LANs together because I basically had no internet at home back then and that got me into Counter-Strike, so here I am. Why did you start editing? What are your biggest inspirations? Why did I start editing? Um, it was just pretty much, you had a lot of these, I mean, everyone knows that you have, you play the game, you have a few cool clips and you want to put them together, you want to put them on YouTube. So I started just recording the Windows Movie Maker, put them on YouTube, and then I eventually saw some fragments. I was like, hey, this is cool, I gotta try it out. The biggest inspiration for myself probably was and has been the movies from Doc J. Probably people won't remember him, just a few people who were, who were into Counter-Strike Source. And on the other hand as well, from Serp, who did the vitriolic at Tex09 movie in Counter-Strike Source. So those two pretty much from CS, and uh, then the two brothers, Eminem, that created Mouse was Ready Ruling Able. I guess a lot more people in the Counter-Strike scene still know that because 1.6 was bigger, so yeah. Mouse was Ready Ruling Able was pretty much a huge influence as well. Do fish get thirsty? What factor played the biggest role in your success? How did you get to where you are now? Uh, what factor probably played the biggest role I guess is just that I never really stopped. I just always kept going in one way or another. I'm probably gonna pinpoint it down to that. I just never really stopped. I just kept going and working. I worked, like work, work, work. And uh, probably the things that got me to where I'm right now um, must be the full length frag movies. Um, I've been doing them in Source. I've been doing them in COD. Yes, I've been actually editing Black Ops 2 as well back in the days. So I'm, I'm guessing that those big movies that no one else produced just got me to where I am right now. Why a penguin? Not judging, since mine is a duck, LMAO. Keep it up the good work, by the way, I love the vids and the streams. Thank you very much, dude. Mr. Merry Quackmas. What the fuck? <laughs> Merry Quackmas. Thank you very much, Mr. Merry Quackmas. Um, not... Keep it a good work, appreciate it dude, hope we keep enjoying it man. Why a penguin? Um, I don't know, I just put, put a random Steam avatar once I got a Steam account, put it on and 
once I started YouTube, I was like, hey, I have that Steam Avatar Penguin and I like penguins, let's just put it that way and use that as a logo. And it evolved from having a random penguin logo somewhere to actually a really cool thing. I, 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 had not, I believe it's a cool thing uh, to have a little penguin as an avatar. So, I mean, look at those things. They are awesome. What are some things you've never done in your life but are normal for other people? Um, one word, holidays. I guess. I never really had any real holidays, if you can call it that way. Like people fly somewhere off and to the beach or something, I've never done that. I literally, no, I can't recall any time I actually did that. So holidays, yes, definitely. How big is your... <laughs> your favorite cartoon anime? One Piece, 100%, on the spot, One Piece. How do you get a name Tweedy? My surname is Tweedy, pretty easy. It's just an every, it's like just a short version of my surname, so yeah. I know it's nothing fancy, cool, cool background story, but it works. Yeah, I'm not as cool. Tak, ha, brille, tau. What do you do besides video crafting and lifting? Eating, sleeping, just the general thing, not really that much aside. Like sleeping, eating, cleaning, going out with friends once in a while and that's pretty much about it. That's a German one. Was ist dein Lebensstil oder hast du es sogar schon erreicht? What is your life goal and did you already reach that? I don't really have a life goal, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I'm pretty much just living in the moment, so to say. As long as you go in the supermarket, you can buy food and drinks, whatever you want, and you have a roof above your head, then I'm good. That's as long as you can have a happy life, that should probably be the life goal. What defines happiness it could be so many things, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. If you had a chance to be a pro player, would you be one? Or would you keep mainly the YouTube stuff? Fucking hell yeah, I'd be a pro player. You're going on the stages, you're playing in front of so many people. Of course, I, I'd drop anything in a minute just to be a pro player. I guess that's just me, or oh, it's probably not just me, that's probably a lot of people. Being a pro player is hella cool. What's your cup size? Give me money! Do you play any other multiplayer games besides CSG? Oh, nope. Future might change that. Maybe. Maybe not. Favorite is CSGO movie edit, which is not made by you. I'm probably gonna pick the easy route and say Frank Garnett Welsh. One of the TSM movies, probably. Favorite is CSGO movie. I couldn't really pick between one of those two that he did for TSM, but Frank Garnett Welsh, definitely. Definitely. I know CSGO is a huge thing now, but it might not be in two to five years. If CSGO wasn't big, what would you do? Probably still being in the video slash film industry, cutting, something like that. I mean, the whole creating videos is so like widely spread uh, because of the media just being so huge right now. But I'm, I'm guessing I'd still do videos in one way or another. If it's not YouTube, if it's not CSGO then probably game related in another way or probably something with filming, something with videos. What's your favorite gun and team in CSGO and why? Favorite gun op? I just like to op. I just like to play really, really hella aggressive with that gun. It's so versatile, so much fun to play with. Favorite team in CSGO is still Nip, as in back in the days. It's just like I've, I've been sympathizing so much with them that it's hard to pick any of the team over them. First rank on CS after 10 wins. It was actually possible to get a global elite back in the days, but hey, I didn't get it. It was Supreme. Supreme Master First Class was the first rank after the first 10 wins when I started playing Candle Strike Go, which was at the 21st August 2012. Bam, bam, pew! <laughs> Favorite moment you had in Candle Strike Go? Um, witnessing Nip winning ESL 1 Cologne 2014. After two majors where they haven't won the trophy and uh, me creating videos for the second place as always, then filming ESL 1 Cologne 2014 where they won so many emotions and so much joy and happiness after that. I'm definitely going to go with ESL 1 Cologne 2014 Redemption is my favorite moment in Candice Favorite video you ever made? 
still going with Redemption. And IP at ESL Uncle in 2014. Biggest project, not to date anymore, but the biggest project I've done in that sense. Also the storyline behind it is just non-reproducible as of right now and uh, just feel like I did a decent job on it, so make a sex tape. If you have any questions, stuff like that, just put them down below. I might just do another one if you like that. Um, feedback is hella appreciated. One of those first kind of videos that I did in that sense when it comes to these Q&As. So I'm obviously not like an old dog that's usually doing them all the time. So if you have feedback for it, questions in general, that should be maybe in the next video. Just leave them down below. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, have a nice day. Peace out. Beep, beep. Wie sieht das denn aus? Zum Spiel hinein?